following is a 24 hours podcast. My name is Darm, and I'm donating my hair to the Canadian Cancer Society. I'm going to visit people from the society, a wig maker, and a cancer survivor. And each will tell me why it's important to donate hair. My name's uh, Martina and I'm uh, from the Czech Republic. I volunteer for the Canadian Cancer Society in the wig zone where um, I help patients um, choose the appropriate wig and I also take care of the wig. As you see, we have all kinds of um, wigs, different uh, styles, different colors and um, most of all different texture. For example, this wig, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a human hair wig. So when you touch it, um, it feels like human hair. Uh, for the patients, it's a great advantage to have uh, human hair wigs because they can treat it as um, natural hair. It is absolutely uh, lovely um, to see the women who come in tears and they, they leave uh, smiling and uh, um, knowing that life is not over really. I'm Cindy Yip, co-owner of Eva and Company Wigs. We collect hair and then we uh, make uh, and design the wigs and donate it to both the BC Children's Hospital and the Vancouver uh, Canadian Cancer Society. Women who hand make these and uh, these are some of the hair that will be donated to the uh, program. And so they come in like this in a ponytail and we'll probably use about five of these to make one wig. So it gets all sewn into a weave like this, and then that gets sewn onto a cap like this. Yep, that's a cap. So you can see she's put rows of hair, and then the top part we will hand tie it one hair at a time. How are your hands, Esther? Are they tired? Uh, no. <laughs> they're, they're like machines. So we have another lady that does it. They've okay. been doing it for over 20 years, and they don't even wear glasses, so it's just incredible. Well, we see so many kids and, and just people uh, going through chemo. It seems like more and more every year. So we want to find a way to help and also recycle the hair and just to benefit everybody. It's a win-win situation. My name is Lorraine Paquette. Um, I basically have worked in an office for the last 30 years doing accounting or in the purchasing department. I knew something was wrong. Um, I knew I had cancer, that it was malignant. Um, Twelve days later I was in surgery and a week and a half later I started my chemo. It hasn't stopped my goal in life. Um, it hasn't stopped my passion for living. Just because you lose your hair, you don't have to lose your identity. Uh, you can have fun with wigs. Um, it won't be exactly the same, but you can compensate, you can make adjustments, and having fun is more important. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, I don't have hair, you can make light of it. This particular wig is very much like my natural color, minus the gray, of course. You do have the control. Although you did not have the control when you lost your hair, you do have control in how you compensate. Never give up. Um, power, positive thinking, and prayer. Life is precious. Life is precious. Every day is precious. Um, you'll have bad days, you'll have good days, but never give up. For the first time in two years, I'm sitting in a barber's chair. Having a long head of hair has defined how I look and, in a way, who I am. You stand out of a crowd when your head has its own postal code. Right now, I feel the air on the nape of my neck and I know there's no turning back. Thankfully, my hair isn't going to waste. In a small way, my donation will aid people who are committed to helping cancer survivors. Martina and Cindy have taught me that wigs help people feel more like themselves in their fight against cancer. And Lorraine has taught me the most important lesson of all. You don't lose who you are when you lose your hair. dot
24hours.ca.